Welcome to my channel. My name is Nora. Um, this is my third video on YouTube and I realized that I hadn't introduced myself. So like I said, my name is Nora and I like crafting, uh, particularly with using cardstock. Um, I think it's so pretty. So I try to find uh, different things that I can do to use it. Um, I like making journal inserts and things like that as well. Um, but today what I'm gonna do is make these covers for these Dollar Tree notepads. They're three and a half by five inch. They come in a pack of five. And um, the idea, I got it from Lyric Lover Crafts and she makes a lot of these uh, cardstock um, covers for these little notepads and they look really cute. So this is just gonna be my spin on it. Um, I like the rounded corners, so that's what I'm gonna be doing. And then um, to get that shape, I'm gonna show you how I did that um, using my Cricut. And what I'm gonna be using is the Cricut app on my iPad because I don't have a computer so I don't have access to the full program. But um, I'm just gonna show you how we get this shape and how to do it. And then uh, we'll assemble it and I'll show you how to do that as well. Okay, so let's get started. Go into your Cricut Design Space. I'm using the Cricut app on my iPad because I don't have a computer. Um, it is limited, but um, it'll still work for this. So you wanna go to the bottom left here where it says shapes and tap that and then you want to select the square here on the bottom left and our notepads are three and a half by five so we're going to hit the edit button just below and we're going to change that to on the bottom left you're going to adjust the width there to 3.5 and the height to five inches and we need two of these, one for the front and one for the back. So we're gonna hit action just below and then go to the bottom left and hit duplicate. So now we have two of these. And we're gonna go back down to where it says shapes on the bottom left, tap that, scroll and select that square again on the bottom left. And then we're gonna select that and then down below hit edit and we are gonna adjust the width and height to 2.25 and the height as 0.15, okay? So now we're gonna select these and just do our best to line them up here. You see how it lights up like that? So it's showing me that that's centered. So I want them to be touching. And then I'm gonna get, and they're just gonna touch right on that edge. We're gonna line these up also. And then we're gonna select them all together. Okay. And then we're gonna hit weld on the bottom. And so now they're one shape. Okay, they're all welded together. And you can fit three of these on one 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just cut three of them. And it ends up being three and a half by 10.15 inches. Okay, so I'm gonna duplicate this two more times and then hit make it. As you can see, I can fit three on my 12 by 12. So go ahead and load that in now. Load your 12 by 12 into onto your Cricut mat and load that into your Cricut. And then just, and make sure it's set to cardstock so it cuts through. Okay, so this is how it comes out. We're just gonna do one here for demonstration our shape and these separate there's five of them in a pack and they separate pretty good pretty easily and they have a little chipboard on the back which is you're gonna use a double-sided tape on the back here and you're gonna attach it to the back you're also gonna double-sided tape um, right here on this section and then fold it over but what we're gonna do first is we're gonna score right here on the edge so that helps us to fold over um, a little easier. So. 
Just make sure you're lined up right at the edge right there. And then do the same on the other side. Just line it up to the edge. So then we got our little score marks to help us fold over. And I'm using um, the half inch. Uh, this is double sided. I think this is from iCraft. I'm, I, I'm not exactly sure, um, um, but I'll, I'll link it below and it's their super strong um, double sided tape. that tape down really good. And we want to line this up with our chipboard on the back. And this one looks to be just a tad longer. And if that's the case, just measure them out with a ruler just before you decide to, um, when you're creating it in the Cricut Design Space. That way you get the exact size that you need because otherwise you're just going to have to cut that excess off, which I'm going to have to do as you can see, which is no big deal. But Okay, and so then I want to push this down and get this top part and kind of push it tightly because you really want it to stick on there and line up. And so that scoring really helps with folding these over. And you're gonna use your scoring bone here and push on that top there to make sure that it really connects and sticks together. Just really press that down. As you can see, like I said, it's just a tad longer on each end, but I mean, it's not really that big of a deal. I'll just cut it off. It fits. As you can see, it lines up pretty well now. And then I'm gonna get my corner rounder. And you wanna make sure this is like all lined up. And as you can see, this is where we shortened it because if we would have kept it to this end, it probably would have tore all that like it did on our other ones, um, like I showed you before. And that's not what we want. So we shortened this section right here so that we can put this all together and then do all the corners, punch all the corners at once. And so then they all have like an even cut all together. So and it's pretty simple. Um, it's just my take on it, but uh, I really like it. And they're really cute and I'll show you them again. And they pack up really cute as well. So, Hopefully this was helpful and it gave you another little idea or a little spin off of off of a another another idea. Um, like I said, uh, I got it from a Lyric Lover to make these little um, to cover these little Dollar Tree notepads, and this is just how I do it, um, how I get the shape the way that I want it, and um, I hope that's helpful to you. And um, if you like this video. Just hit the like button and um, subscribe, subscribe, sorry. And um, let me know what you think.
Hello, fellow crafters. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say. Hello, YouTube family. Uh, and we'll take out the first uh, 30 minutes.